Hi Aquariuses, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is an extra bonus reading for November 2017. It's a bonus reading because I'm going to just choose to lay out the cards and do with my energies however and whatever I choose to do as Spirit has taught me. So I have humans sometimes that come in and try to tell me to do things a certain way, but I have to follow where I've been led and how I've been led. So I'm kind of just taking this moment to rebel and do my own thing. All right, so I'm going to base this reading, and it's kind of like what a personal reading would be if you want one of my emails here, on what decisions need to be made at this time. It could be decisions some of you are waiting on when it comes to a business or an environment of sorts or a decision when it comes to another person. So the cards I'm starting out with are the Angel Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue, and the first card is King of Air. Speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, and balance your mental and emotional considerations. So trying to get to the truth of a situation. You've got a time of positive change here with the wheel. And you can manifest with the magician energies. Wow, so speak your truth. The wheel is turning in your favor and you have the ability to manifest great things. Now in a layout to my left, I'm going to uh, use the tarot, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. And I'm going to start out with a three card summary to my left representing Aquariuses and a three card summary to my right representing the person or circumstance or situation that these decisions are being made about. Any confirmation or spiritual guidance. And the emotional, okay, so in your thoughts, some of you are going through some very deep emotional withdrawal. And you have the energies of the authority card in your foundation to start to take control of your path. Feeling as though you're having to make some sort of sacrifice and that's what's causing this emotional withdrawal. Speak your truth in your mind with confidence and try and remain balanced through whatever this is. The other person or situation is rising to a higher level spiritually. So this person is in a deep tr spiritual transformation or this is part of what you're going through with a person. That's interesting. In your foundation, you've or in that person or circumstances situation, there's a strong want, a strong urge that has to do with their foundation and the achievements that they are handling in this point at this point in time. They're also lined up with the wheel energies. And we've got Archangel Michael there, who I always think of as like a love angel. So positive change coming through a situation. <clears throat> Pardon me. In a three card summary to my left, representing the first week and a half to two weeks for you Aquariuses, some of you are going to have to go within and spend some time in solitude, contemplating about some sort of movement forward. And it's positive movement forward. You've got the energies of the power card here with you, waiting to get to your goal, but moving slowly, which may be causing some sort of waiting game, which a lot of people are hung up in right now. I'm seeing that card all over the place. In the next two to three weeks, uh-oh, Buster, that was my dog. So this is the reason I stopped the video. Buster wanted to play ball. I thought he was getting into some socks, but you were a good boy, weren't you? You were playing with your ball. You were just loud and he sneezed. So you wanna go play? Yeah? All right. Okay, that's Buster. All right, so we got shadow energies, looking within, looking around, contemplating on or dealing with the shadow side of yourself or others at this time, okay? We all have one. This is about taking steps, making choices and decisions, trying to figure out how to move forward. 
from a financial and material changes that are taking place that are worrisome. I think you guys are hoping for this new beginning and Spirit's telling you that you can reap or have or will be reaping what you sow. You have spiritual strength at this time to celebrate something. And in the next four to six weeks, you will be able to let go of some memories of love. Someone that's been kind of up in your head for a while, just imagine yourself sending those candles out into the ocean, letting that go for now. I mean, your, your memories will always be with you, but now's the time to release any pain in order to start anew. So I'm going to add to the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for further clarification as we go through each step of this special spread of mine. All right, I'm starting out with the Emotional Withdrawal card. All right, so uh, you guys may be dealing with some sort of emotional withdrawal because what? You were attracting something in your life at one time. You felt very attractive to someone maybe. There was an attraction that you hadn't healed from. And now you may be going through some emotional withdrawal at this time. Um, in your foundation, Aquariuses, we have authority. You guys taking control of your path, being the authority in your path. As you release and heal and experience more love moving forward. So not only forgiving others, but also of learning about yourself. Okay, so the whole reason we interconnect with other energies is to learn more about our own soul, what fulfills us, who we are, climbing our spiritual ladder. We need to learn as we forgive that we and others know not what we do. So something or someone may have to be let go and there's an emotional withdrawal attached to that. But you could go and attract romantic love by just enjoying your life day to day for a little bit here, retreat, take time to forgive and learn, and then contemplate if there's something that you are going to sacrifice. You have authority over your path to forgive and learn. You have control over that as you move forward, retreat, and decide. So the other person, place, circumstance, environment, someone climbing the spiritual ladder, climbing to a, a new level spiritually, remaining optimistic, having positive thinking and faith. So somebody is wanting and is being blessed with great spiritual energy. Take care of financial issues. They have a strong urge and a strong desire to stay optimistic. I think their situation, their concern is to be financially optimistic, though they're climbing spiritually in their foundation with building a solid foundation and achievements. We have deception. So they are lined up with the wheel of karma. They need to stay optimistic. They need to focus on what is right for them in their path. You guys get to heal from this situation and start to move towards a new path. Moving slowly, connecting out with friends in the next week and a half to two weeks. Knowing that you have spiritual strength when it comes to loving yourself first. So it's your self-respect that's gonna bring you into this new path of new beginnings, sacrificing something of the past, stepping into a new path, and now material harvest, reaping what you sow. When it comes to you and someone else who has different viewpoints, 
in your outcome position. Letting go of memories of love and trying to move forward to have uh, make romantic gestures ahead. And you guys are going to receive fulfillment of wishes as you extend out to others. There's only warning here is if there's boredom and discontent to be careful of any sort of addiction. That could be to a person, place, thing, situation, circumstance. Something needs to be sacrificed or something will be sacrificed, but you have the magician energies to then manifest this new magical life before you. So speak your truth. Focus on this new path, this new direction. Heal and forgive. Make the effort if it is the great effort for you. Spirit sees that you guys deserve love. And there could be a true love. But in the foundation, I'm seeing a little bit about concerns of unrequited love. So let me clarify once again with the Rider Waite deck. I'm going to go back over some of this because I feel like there's at least three, four different energies here and I'm going to see if I can explain them differently. For sure, somebody, their energies have to do with unloading a bunch of pain from the past, trying to enjoy a new beginning, hoping and praying that spirit is bringing this new path of love and or blessings. That's what's in your thoughts. And in your foundation, there's healing with the temperance energies. As you forgive and learn what this path taught you about yourself. How to stand strong as an authority in your own path. Take time, Spirit says, Buster, to retreat. To set new goals. And then to come to terms with what it is that has to be sacrificed at some point. Could be a sacrifice made to a person who has fire in their chart. Sag Aries or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or it could just be setting goals to sacrifice something and move forward. All right, so in the other person's uh, position, they're very in touch spiritually. They're dealing with some sort of heartache and they're trying to think positive. About, I feel life in general, not necessarily romance. They want balance. And they're concerned maybe about finances at this time. They, they're trying to build something, but someone's not helping. And they're getting deceived and they're getting cheated and they have just been through a lot. That might have been a different energy. I'm having a hard time separating. So maybe some of these go together. Maybe these are different people that somebody knows. Let your friends help you when it comes to slowly but surely reaching your goals. Love yourself first. There you guys are. Self-respect, set your goals, make clear your boundaries. You and someone else may not have the same perspective. Definitely could be a fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. You want to spread your lighthearted energies with others. Or you're getting wary because of codependence. Discontentment and boredom will lead to codependence. Make sure you understand what is being offered to you. Or an offer of love is coming in. And you don't want to let go of something because you're addicted to it or them. Or a love offer. Gosh, there's a love offer that you're very focused. Some of you, whoever this is, but are you really? I mean, there is discontent and boredom there. I see like deception and codependency. 
So if those are areas for anybody, these energies are available to work through those. To tag them in your mind and say, okay, these are some of my things. I'm going to write them down on a piece of paper and I'm going to work on whatever I have to do to get rid of them so I can enjoy a happy, contented, and fulfilled future. In a three-card summary to my left, we have the first card representing the first week and a half to two weeks. For some of you, not all of you, Aquariuses. And the first one is, for those of you who have been waiting to find out about some sort of prosperity and fulfillment, being able to take yourself out to a nice dinner or do something beautiful and fun for yourself, Spirit saying that wish is coming true. In the next two to three weeks, reaching out, trying to connect with others waiting to find the information about someone maybe at a distance, maybe even looking for a job at a distance, hoping to step into a new world path, figuring out how to maybe leave a connection behind. Spirit saying you can step out in this new direction. There is a new offer and or opportunity, but somebody may not be as honest as what you think so be careful because not only could they cause you pain they could just continue to lie and carry on so some of you are needing to leave a path behind you may feel imbalanced you're looking for a love connection but something lets you down continue to look because Spirit's trying to illuminate a new path before you and this is an independent path this is stepping into a path Cutting away a lot of people and environments and situations that you endured or experienced before. Getting excited and having the energies of the strength card to make a wish come true with the star card energies. It's a major arcana. Spirit's going to help make this wish come true if you travel or head towards, take the steps towards success. They're offering you a new creative path, a new financial path. And it's better money than what you'd expected. It's also going to release you from a difficult path you had been on. But yes, in the next even couple few months, I don't know how long, it's a healing process, so everyone's different. You may be thinking, should I give something another chance where I'm at? Should I lay down this path and move on? That may therein be the difficult decision, and Spirit's here to support you with the judgment energies to help you to climb into that position of leadership and to still care and give to others. But there will be mourning and sadness because some of you are actually moving away and leaving troubled waters behind. There may be kind words, messages, and connections from someone who's younger, who could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Messages maybe even of love. Maybe this could be your children. And you're trying to keep your heart open to do the right thing, working maybe hand in hand with a water sign, male or female. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Everybody's kind of up in their head and frustrated, feeling stuck to a situation, but at some point, this child, this person who's been difficult, is going to finally have the light shown in their path. Things will be created for him or her that will provide support and direction. He may not enjoy that, or she may not enjoy that, but the Wheel of Fortune is turning fate in your favor so that you guys can now connect out and receive communication with others to enjoy a new direction, a new path. And I know I say new paths all the time, but we can decide to walk the whole path. We can learn along the path and decide we've had enough at some point. That's what life's all about, starting new things, deciding on other things, finding where, why we were sent here, you know, what our reason is. You know, we decide before we come here to learn about ourselves, our souls, and to make what will hopefully be the right decisions. And then learning through karmic, you know, processes what it is we need to learn to become more spiritual. All right, so we have unrequited love as a confirmation here for anybody who was wondering. I'm also going to do a spiritual guidance, Celtic spread. 
With The Wisdom of the House of Night Deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed, I'm going to be combining that with probably the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason for clarification as we go through each step of this spread. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the Sun sign, Moon sign, and or Rising sign of Aquarius. Now on into the next month, November 2017. Okay, so there's a reminder here for you right off the bat. Spirit tossed this out to say, remember the tombstone that tells you not to forget about where it is you belong. Hmm, those are interesting messages. In your thoughts, you'll be guided with the high priestess energies to find the answers when it comes to finances, career, ideas in your foundation know that that's twice you've received the strength card energies in the recent past or maybe even up to now if this is a little more in the future sometimes i feel it is we have the warrior energies supporting you helping you to move forward to learn from the situation to figure out where it is that you truly belong as you're connecting to the high priestess whether you know it or not of earth you are being guided so listen to messages around you the radio the tv your phone a billboard and know that you have the energies of the strength card at this time to move forward here comes the wish time in the next two to three weeks you have the uh, energies well all the way up through the next two to three weeks you have the energies and the ability to hope wish and pray and make a dream manifest just be sure of what it is you're wishing for because this is important it has to do with a reminder of something that you've already gone through in the past and where it is you feel you belong moving forward and you have control in the next four to six weeks over recognizing these some sort of cycles, okay? Something that you do over and over again that keeps happening over and over again and figuring out what those cycles are and why you are doing them. Take some private time to just do self-study and then change them up. Do something different. Think of your life as a study, you know? We are born with this path. We get to do anything we want with this path. We can make and set goals and achieve great things in our path, but for some reason, sometimes we let people and situations into our path that have to teach us about ourselves. And it goes over and over again until we do. So Spirit wants to speak to you guys about taking a risk. They're saying that you're coming to the end of a path and you're kind of tiptoeing right there. In your hopes and fears, they're also trying to tell you that you are not trapped. That the door on the back of the cage has been open the entire time. So what is it that has been making you feel trapped? I think we talked about this before. In your outcome position, something is taking place when it comes to what you were focusing on, what you are focusing on, or what you're going to be focusing on. So let's clarify. So far we've got, remember, where it is that you belong as you move forward listening to spirit about career and finances. You have the energies of the strength card and the warrior to figure out where it is you belong to hope, wish, and pray for something, but to make sure that you don't end up doing something over and over again when it comes to the belonging energies, your home, your life, Spirit saying, now is the time to take a risk. You are never trapped. We can always take our mind and our body in any direction we so choose. And then we get to decide what it is we want to manifest, to focus on, to create. So in your remainder, uh, remainder, in your current position and your current energies, don't forget, keep your heart open in the future, but don't move quickly. The King of Cups pauses. He observes. He prays. He listens to his intuition. He takes his time before making any quick decisions. Some of you are going to just maybe find peace and calm and forward movement in, by using the Queen of Wands energies to start illuminating where it is you want to belong. Start setting fun goals and ideas. In your thoughts position, we have the High Priestess of Earth and Opposition. 
So some of you may be concerned about some sort of opposition at this time, worried about money. And Spirit's saying with the High Priestess there, she's going to guide you through this process. Some of you may be communicating or interacting with an, a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. With your strength card energies and your foundation, there is going to be some sort of reward. So know that good things are coming. In the recent past, we had the warrior energies and discord, heartache. In the next two to three weeks, wishing, hoping, and praying to become maybe the man of the house or to have a man of the house in your life, to become successful, to advance to a higher level of prosperity or success. In the next four to six weeks, we have the world tree energies, stepping into a brand new path. Be sure, because this is a world path. This is a whole new world. Which one is it? This one? Nope, this one. But you get the choice. You have control in the next four to six weeks about which world you want to step into. Have you gone full circle? Have you learned something about these cycles, about yourself, by which you can even metaphorically step into a new world path and think differently and see things differently? So in spiritual advice, in the spiritual advice position, they're saying take a risk. Understand that you've just come to the end of one other path in the maze, and it's now time. Oh, you've made it to the center. That's what I'm feeling. The time has come to initiate a higher position, a better position, the care of others, wishing, hoping, and praying for a situation involving opposition and finances. You can eventually, Spirit saying, initiate a new beginning. The reward will come if you are strong. In the meantime, focus on any cycles that will help to release you from the current world path you're in, to bring something completely to a close and to step into something brand new that's blessed. Traveling, maybe, in your hopes and fears. You are not trapped, and that's even with restriction. Feeling stuck somewhere with your heart, your mind, and your money. In your outcome position, look at this. Focused on maybe a traditional life, a traditional way of being. That may be the reward. So continue to take steps ahead. Use your imagination. Get excited about a new direction. Don't be afraid. Don't live in fear. You've got the moon card here twice. Turn any fears you have into excitement and set goals to succeed in this new path. The new path has to do with creativity. So maybe fill any waiting time all of us may have to the first of the year with a creative new project or creative ideas on how to put closure to this path and how you're gonna take steps into this new beautiful direction. There is a time for recovery here. There is a time to let go of all old suffering. But Spirit's saying, now the wheel is starting to turn again in your favor. It's a time to focus on passion and love and to sacrifice, like we talked about before, what needs to be gone. Take a reflection and a look in your own heart and mind and think at this time moving forward. In this new step in my new world, who am I and what do I want to offer to someone in this new path? To close, I'm going to pull some cards from the... Where is it? Um... Really? All right, I'm just going to pull from, ooh. The Angel Tarot deck again. 
Please provide Aquariuses with clearly defined messages regarding the next month of November 2017. Any special messages of guidance, clarity, truth, nine of fire. Again, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in what it is you are giving all, your all to. In the next two to three weeks, we have the King of Water, maybe dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, maybe even charity work. So continue to open your heart, be kind to others, compassionate. Um, and in your outcome position, we've got the Three of Water. Celebration. The need to have more fun, moving off into a new direction, into that new world. So it's like you're finishing up something. Stand strong, get it done, open your heart like the King of Wands to new opportunities, new ideas, and go and have some fun when this is over. Think of it as a celebration, even though it's a hard way to... Um, because of the sacrifice, because of whatever has to be let go in order to step into a new, I feel like those who are strong enough to take a chance this year, and let me clarify, yes, through patience and planning, can give birth by listening to spirit to a new direction. Ooh, you guys are going to receive a lot of attention. Be careful. I did see deception. So move slowly. Move, but don't move slowly. And in the process, slowly go through that sacrifice process to step into this new beautiful path and then celebrate the new path. Okay, and, and I hope you guys, whoever this is connecting to and with, understand what I'm saying. If you want a personal reading, my email is right here and the information is listed in the box below. I am so thankful for everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed. And I hope to see you again very soon. Take care and God bless.